Hey ho friends, how's everybody doing? You guys, I hope you got snacks for this one. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit. I also moved my camera arm, so let's see how we do. Okay, Nail Teaks Formula 2 Plus is down. Also, I have put on Nail Aid 8-in-1 Nude, Nude, over top. Because, um, you know, this is a recipe for, when you do recipe for, it's got to be fancy as frogs. So, we're doing, um, wear an Easter or make your own. Of course, we're making our own, girl. Now, this one also could have fit for, use five or more sets, use jellies or make a stained glass. Um, that's about, I mean, as if that's not enough, because these are going to be, oh, well, this, too, make a fancy accent finger. Could have been that. Uh, this is no joke now. Look here, friends. That's a lot going on, okay? It's a lot. All right, so this is just clear as day. Because I didn't know if I would need more than one pack. I got my melter on. Let's get out some Lux Lemons. Yeah, girl. I use a hell out of this this summer. Alright, we need it for, not for our thumbs. We do need it for the middle. Wonder if that's too long. Mm. I am going to um, also for our pinky. I'm going to cut my nails back after this Manny, but this Manny needed slash wanted long nails. So, but they do need to be cut back. They're a little bit out of hand on some of them. All right, so that's Lux Lemon. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a good summer color. Okay, that there. I saved these because I might need them down the road. And then let's do Clear as Day. Now, clear as day is going to be my base for my stained glass. And I did put two layers of nudie nude under um, under the ones that were going to be. Under the ones that are going to be... Um, using like jellies because I want to make sure they didn't get any funny colors showing through because that does happen okay thumbs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right let's stack these babies up combine them with these here's the thing you guys for my clear as day I feel like I'm always only using it like under art fingers which is always my thumb and ring finger so then I run out of thumb and ring finger uh, you know and then I gotta open a new set and then I use those thumbs and ring fingers then I gotta open a new set you see where I'm going with this right some more spare I do have a very detailed drawing going for this mm -hmm, I do and I have about 400 pieces of accoutrement okay let's do That. 
that was macaroon macaroon okay for those of you who don't know we have indoor rabbits four of them upstairs the two that live upstairs have floppy ears Betty and Coco they are madly deeply bonded and in love they clean each other's ears adorably <coughs> downstairs we have Pixie and Rosie they're only mediocrely in love when they're not yelling at each other and they've got up ears um let's use i mean i don't need much of this one but also i picked a milky jelly for this one and you'll understand why i did that later because we do have plenty of pinks but this one is pink lemonade and it is um a milky style one versus the uh more traditional um clear ish jelly and you will you will you'll get it later but right now just know i got my reasons and then um this one is pear i believe yeah juicy pear it's the juiciest what do we got? That one's stuck to there. So it must be wanting to be used. Okay. Then I'll use you. Only needed one of those. Gravy. Now. Um. Uh, Blue Lagoon, or maybe Just Lagoon. Yeah, Just Lagoon, sorry. Uh, I think Blue Lagoon was the old one. Just one of those. Is Plenty. This one's gorgeous because it's got glitter in it. Now, I did take out um, my Northern Lights Silver Hollow to use over everything at the end. Because, like, Lux does have silver glitter in it. It's pretty sparse, but still it's there. I mean, and let's get real here. Everything's better with a little glitter drizzle going on. Okay, let me get those out of my way because there's a lot of those. And then we need some blues. This is blue, no, blueberry blast. I was going to say blue raspberry. Blueberry blast. Let's see here. I think I can use just this little guy in the back. I can get him out of there. Um, and then now I think when I put this together, you guys, because this has been coming for ages, honestly, this has been sitting in an envelope waiting impatiently for Easter or for Stacy to have a reason to draw attention to it. Easter. I mean, obviously it was going to be Easter, but it also fit in so well to be the last Manny recipe, which is where you go all in. Fancy as frogs, you guys. F.A.F. You are going to make something that, you're going to do something that you wouldn't normally do. That probably takes a decent amount of extra time. 
and that your in your head could possibly be better than it is in reality. <laughs> you always got to remember that part too. Okay, hang on now. I did forget one lethal thing. One lethal jelly. Get it. Girl, go get it because... Okay. Somehow I f appear to have two sets of um, juicy pear open. Okay, so I need a bed of roses. And this, what's it called? Raspberry jam. I want one more thing glitter-like. Hang on, please let me look. Oh, <gasps> purple. Yep. Oh, I, got, I feel like I don't have enough of that. Josie also likes the purple jelly, you guys. So there's, at some point... Maybe never enough purple jellies for us. I'll hit the I'll hit the swap and sale. Somebody will have some purple jellies to share. Okay, let's see. Whoops. Red. Now I do need a little more of this. This is bed of roses from Valentine's Day. It is the true, true, like, red jelly that we needed. Well, if you're asking me, I guess. Maybe not everybody thought we needed it. I do feel like I'm going to need... Look at me trying to make sure I have enough to use this again at some point. Okay. I need a few more spares bed of roses it's a beauty now what could they have done to make bed of roses better glitter of course but it's okay i'll drop a glitter on it when it's all said and done more than like silver glitter i just like that when they put glitter in the jelly sets they make it match right so like the green has green glitter and this pink has pink glitter and you know and this is Raspberry Jam. Get off me, sir. And this one, I need, I think, a few. What do we got? I don't know if, yeah, two should be enough of those. We'll see, hopefully. I don't need those. I'm sorry, I keep looking at my post-it note of directions, so I try not to miss anything. And purple. Let's do those two. And those two, just in case. So today is Saturday. Yeah, the 23rd. Um, now, normally I wouldn't be doing these yet. But honestly, they've got to have time to just shine. Because they're so good. There's a lot of work going into them. There was a lot of planning going into them. There was many, many... Um... Oh, wait. Did I say the name of this? Wild Grape? Okay. Uh, there was many, like... Not necessarily revamps, but kind of little additions to it. Where I was like, oh, you know what else would make this extra froggy? And added little bits here and there. So, 
Uh, it just deserves its time, I guess. All right, here we go. We're starting with Lux. And that's going to be Pinky Middle Pointer. And it's beautiful. I mean, it's just beautiful. I have been watching the National Jig Paw, Jigsaw Puzzle Association um, throwdown. <laughs> throw down all weekend you guys and it's not done yet i'll still be watching tomorrow for three days and each live stream is about three hours <laughs> so i've watched a lot of youtube living i've watched a lot of people puzzle this weekend you guys but listen if you do any puzzling okay even if you don't do any puzzling ever just know that somebody doing a 500 piece puzzle um, in like 30 some minutes should impress you. <laughs> That's all. That's all. I mean, it just should. It just amazes me watching like their hands are just nonstop, you guys. Okay, Lux one. Now, Lux two. I hope I'm. I hope in my head, I'm color mixing correctly. I should have asked. I should have checked with my color wheel, A.K.A. Josie, before I started. But in my head, I think I have got it right. You guys should know our rabbits don't work on Easter, but they will get an extra fancy brekkie and lunch just because, you know, it's their heritage. When we got our, the last bunny we got was Rosie downstairs. Um, and it's a, family that uh, Dathan's done a lot of work on their house for them and the gals in college and just like you know didn't knew she didn't have enough time for her right so asked if we wanted to take her and like she was content to keep her if she couldn't find anybody she thought would you know give her a really good home and so then of course yes we'll take her um and she is the most gorgeous little beast in all the land because she's white with what's it called Josie when they're white and orange and tortoiseshell? yeah tortoise shell or calico. or calico okay there you calico. go Okay, calico when they have white. Tortoise shell when they have black, right? Anyway, she's beautiful, you guys. And she's super, like, she's got 400 layers of fur, so she's soft. And she might be a little bit of a, uh, uh, spoiled baby. She loves to be, like, pet. She'll sit by you and, and get cuddled. Now, know that, in general, rabbits aren't like, oh, pick me up and cuddle me, cuddle me. They're not the, like, kid-friendly pet people fail to realize at Easter time. Uh, also, they need to be fixed, even more so for girls. Uh, or they'll get girl part problems and, and be dead before you know it, which is horrible. And... You're like, oh, yeah, I'll get them fixed. I got my cat fixed or my dog fixed. Yep, totally unrelated because you can get your cat and dog fixed at, like, the corner grocery store, basically. But finding someone to fix a rabbit is an ordeal, a super ordeal, because 
they have such a fast little metabolism uh, that it's really hard to be sure, you know, it's a thin line between making sure that they can stay under the amount of time it takes for them to get fixed and that you give them too much, right? Um, also, it's not cheap. Like, you're getting real, by the time you get their little meds for after and have it done, you're real close to four digits to get them fixed. So, getting a rabbit is no joke. And if you don't get them fixed, boys are very aggressive and, you know, pee all over, which is just what boys do in every form. And stink. And, and stink, yes. Josie's correct. Josie's awake and behind me, guys. Well, not behind me, like over my shoulder, but in the craft room with me. Um, and girls will just wind up like... Um, basically like with their version of cervical cancer and, and again, not make it long. So also to note, which a lot of people don't realize is that, uh, rabbits aren't like, um, you know, like a two year pet Our one of our, our oldest guy, our pixie downstairs, our first bunny is going to be 12 this year, you guys. So, just know <laughs> that when you take, if you decide to take one on, it's not a, it's not a temporary occasion, right? And it's not a, um, it's not what people like to imagine in their head, right? Like that this little bunny's coming to just cuddle around with them. Now, also, like most pets, I guess, they would prefer to be partnered up, right? To to be at least in pairs, if nothing else. Um, they want to be bonded. Now, if you don't, they'll bond to the human really well and be more cuddly, of course. But, I mean, obviously better if they can have a bunny unless you're a human that just can stay home and cater to them all the time. So anyway, there's that, and they need fresh food. They're not, um, they don't live on pellets, right? They want fresh fruit and veg. Ours get romaine and banana every morning, and their little heinies jiggle and dance for the banana. That's their, definitely one of their favorites. But fresh dandelions are right up there with it. But it's not quite dandelion season yet. Now I'm making polka dots. So I'll just keep chattering about bunnies while I do it. Well, I thought it was going to get more orangey. But that's okay. I don't mind that it's red. I thought if I put red and yellow, I'd get orange. Maybe I bet if I would have done a red nail and done the yellow dot. But otherwise, I think maybe just this red dot's a little stronger. Like, this red's a little stronger than the yellow. Anyway, um, so when we got Rosie, our last one, we were, after the family had left, we were laughing because um, the mom was like, you know, what does she eat or what do you feed her or whatever? And she's like, oh, I just feed her whatever, you know, whatever fruit or veg in the fridge or wilting. And we were just like, oh, like... <laughs> Our bunnies don't get wilted fruit and vegetables. Like, how offensive. <laughs> now, do the bunnies care? I don't know how much they care. I mean, ours might because they're freaking spoiled babies. But, um, you know, we just try to make a point not to do that. Like, Wednesdays when I say it's Josie's therapy and errand today. That's part of the errand is stopping to get a week's worth of fresh veg and fruits for the buns. And it worked out good because then when we got the birds, um, they really love the fresh cilantro. And we've tried, you know, lots of different fresh stuff on the birds, but cilantro is by far their favorite. Uh, well, they love grape leaves too, but we don't get grape leaves until summer when our vines are growing. So, 
they do love the grape leaves to shred them up, actually. And the rabbits love the grape leaves, too. Basically, the birds eat everything the rabbits eat, which is pretty handy. So, you know, because it's not like they're eating much. You can just give them a little teeny piece and the birds are set. And Pancake, the little orangey cat, he also loves to munch on cilantro and chew on the vein of the romaine like the crunchy crunchy part i look to see and he can do it you know obviously you wouldn't want it to be your cat's diet because they're not vegetarians but he can do it and he does like it and also he thinks he's a rabbit you know he just thinks he's a rabbit he was baby when he came in he knows to be scared of the rabbits um, versus the rabbits being scared of them. That's something people always ask. But, I mean, even Beef, the big, the big boy when it comes to the cats, and the rough and tumble boy who will bring us fresh dead mice daily, he gives a wide berth. <laughs> a very wide berth to those rabbits, because he knows they'll take him downtown in a heartbeat. And they will. But the youngest bunny we have is uh, Betty upstairs. And her and Pan do play chasey games together. She's not scared of him. And he's not looking to hurt him. You guys, don't go into panic mode on me. He's not looking to hurt him. He's got plenty of fresh food keeping him happy. Um, but him and Betty do play chasey games through the tubes. Like, the rabbits are super smart, and we've always bought them little cat toys, basically. Now, they can't have anything, like, with bells and stuff, because they can get it stuck on their teeth. But they love cat tubes and, you know, little, like, wicker balls and stuff. I mean, they play with the same kind of stuff. And they'll play together. And when they get their fresh hay every night, then Pan will just sit there and yep, 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 yep. He don't care. He thinks he's, and he drinks out of everybody's water, you guys. He has a water dish upstairs, a water dish on the main floor. But then he also likes to drink out of the bunny's little, you know, tube type one that you lick bunnies downstairs have a bowl he'll drink out of theirs he doesn't care he's a real rabbit mom beef will not <laughs> beef gives them a much a much wider <laughs> he's like no fairly sure these guys are deadly I'm sure they could be if they wanted to I mean, I know they could, but even when Josie brings the downstairs kids their food at night, she's, jo um, Rosie, she's nipped Josie's hand before just because so excited to get to the grapes or the cilantro or whatever. Also, ain't like they ain't got 24 hour food. They always have their um timothy hay to eat always and i order it i order it in a 50 pound box you guys and they go through like four a year it's how much hay they eat so if you walk into my house and say hmm it smells like hay now you know why my mom always says it smells like hay in here well, because two of the animals eat hay. Well, four of them do, but it's in two locations, upstairs and downstairs. So there you go. I don't know what got me on that. Oh, I know what got me on that, because we're doing Easter nails. That's why I got talking about it. And also, I just always feel like it's important to talk about the fact that as sweet as bunnies are, they're not little kid pets and they're not 
um, Easter basket presents because they're like a 10 plus year commitment and if they need the vet it is no joke a finding a vet that will take rabbits and be the cost so there you go there's your bunny rabbit PSA for the year I don't know if I gave that PSA before but I'm sure I have because I'm a little bit a little bit passionate about it. And all the time I get people that'll send messages and be like, Oh, my friend got two rabbits for their kids for Easter, but now they can't really take care of them. The kids aren't interested. The rabbits bit them. Yep, <laughs> that's what they do. <laughs> Because they're not a plush, you know? They're not a stuffed animal. Can you take them? No, no. You're looking at a good $1,500 just to get that pair fixed. And because you had to buy some new cute something from some dingleberry breeder, it's not fixed. So if you would have rescued, it would have came fixed. Okay, sorry. I won't I won't soapbox that, but I do get really frustrated about it, you guys. I'm a super fan of the rescue. Rescue everything, you guys. <coughs> Speaking of I had a dream the other night, you guys. Good gravy. Okay. As much as I am animal friendly. Uh, I'm not snake friendly, you guys. I do not like snakes. I don't like them. I don't like them. Please, just let me have that, okay? <sighs> and I had a dream. There were snakes in the damn house. But Pancake rescued me. And I was screaming my ever-loving head off. Um, Pan rescued me. Got the snakes. Now... In real life, I think it'd probably be Beef that rescued me. Pan would probably come running, but he might just play with them. Anyway, then, at random, three of the orange, fluffiest little kittens just come walking into the house. And they've all got little Jingle Bell collars on. Like, we keep Jingle Bell collars on the boys. And I just order them in. Um, big packs, like it comes 25 collars, right? Uh, in a mix of colors and they're, what is that called? Oh, reflective. Um, and easy release. They has to be easy release, especially because beef goes outside, right? So if he gets hung up on something, we need to know that he can get, he can pull out, pull off his collar if he needs to. Anyway, these three <laughs> Luffball kittens come in. They're so flipping cute and jingly. <laughs> and they just were like sleeping in a big cuddly pile. And <sighs> now I need three fluffball kittens. But no, instead, I got one crazy pancake who got me good this week, you guys. He, well, I mean, he's not even a year old yet, so of course he's still super crazy loving to play. I got a bruise from him because I didn't get my hand. I should have left my hand. Like, you know when he bites, he won't actually bite to hurt you. He'll just hold your hand, basically, or finger, or whatever he's got a hold of. And just out of instinct, I pulled my hand back. Now I got a bruise. He's like, Mom, that was your own fault. Yeah, I know. I know. All right. Polka dots a go. Okay, now, let me say, though, do I love them? Yes, love them. The yellow and red, super cute. But... I did actually think it was going to turn these orange. Now, I do think if I would have used that other red, the watermelon one, um, it probably would have worked 
it's a softer tone, so it probably would have worked better. Okay. Here we go, my friends. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, make sure you take your whatchamajigger off, your plastic coat. Now, let me get this. I got to get this in the right order. So, a green green. And then... Okay, now, you know, this is going to cover two nails, hopefully, so I am going to work from both ends, like what I put here, I'm going to put here, so that in theory I can cover two nails. Now, if when I put them on, they happen to be a little hair short, it'll be okay because I can cover it with jellies, you know, keep in mind, this is going, this is going to be stained glass version, right? remember that um I do have a sneeze coming friends so get ready to take cover Dathan says my sneezes are too loud and obnoxious the other night Josie and I were up and I had a sneeze and I said I gave that one extra gusto for daddy <laughs> uh, but I told him that I can't try to be quiet when I sneeze or I'll just pee my pants and that's not fun for anyone. <laughs> and honestly, even the big gusto sneeze still might be your pants. <laughs> oh, Lordy. And I used to think that was only a problem for people who um, had had their kids naturally, right? Because Josie was C-section. But no, it just, it's more... I mean, it might start earlier if you've had them naturally, but it's one of those things that's just, you know, women of a certain age, I guess. <laughs> what age? Pee your pants age. That's the age. Hang on, I got one stuck. Hopefully you guys can, you know, like, zoom in or whatever and get a good... Hopefully you can see this good is what I'm getting at here. And remember, I got to work both ends of it. Because, whoops, does that bounce it? Not much. Nice. This one really does, this arm really does attach nice and tight. It's good and sturdy. And I now have it attached kind of like to my side. So that I could get it um, down a little lower so I could see. I really didn't like working without being able to see what you guys see. That's problematic for me. Because then if I'm working off the whole dang screen, like I don't know it until I'm way too late. And I don't care that these are... You know, going off the edge, I'll trim that up. Don't care that they're overlapping a little bit because it'll just give, like, different shades. This is grass if you haven't figured it out or you haven't assumpted, assumptioned it. And I'm just cutting, you know... Thin pieces, no rhyme, nor reason to it, you guys. How do you guys feel about the eyeliner debacle? <laughs> debacle is right now you know I'm not a makeup person so it affects me zero because I'm not getting it anyway I just feel bad for stylists I think it just I know that they would like to portray it as yeah, this is so good, and that's why it sold out. Instead of, we dropped the ball, <laughs> you know. 
but I see it as you drop the ball, not yay, this is so good, and that's why it sold out. I mean, it's brand new, so it can't sell out because it's so good. Um, but it can sell out because we dropped the ball. And I know they made more of the black, uh, thinking that would be the one that sold the most, which to me just means they're not doing any market research because... Black eyeliner has been a big no-no for several years. It's too harsh. But, whatever. Girl, whatever. They don't do themselves any favors by, you know. And that stuff isn't made here. Like, it's not made in the factories here. So, wherever that comes from, be it, you know. Italy, Korea, Canada, wherever, then it's a good three months or whatever before they can get it back in stock. Now, when the lip glosses did restock, I don't know. How'd that go? Did they sell right out? Listen, put your foil hat on a minute, would you? And I'll have a little... I'll tell you what I think is going on. Um, and I know some of you really enjoy the foil hat moments, but not everybody does. Angela Stalter, friend, I know you enjoy my foil hat moments. So let's just talk about it. I think that when the lip gloss sold out and when the... Um, eyeliner sold out yes of course some of it is customers don't get me wrong here don't give me words in my mouth but the vast majority is stylists ordering it so until they can get their website issues sorted remember the old new website <laughs> the old new one um, when they get that sorted, there will be two different locations, meaning stylists are ordering from one version, um, and we're ordering from one so that they can actually see, because I know, you know, like with the lip glosses selling out blazing fast, but literally it didn't take long before like every you, me, who link I was clicking had loads of lip gloss on it so even though it was out on the website and customers weren't able to get it there was plenty of stylists who had gotten it but then these items are just sitting there right so it just there just has to be better ways for them to go about things right and I'm not saying you know not to let stylists order but my long time fix for this has been that they have a pool and we have a pool or I know that um, Color Street suggests you don't keep inventory right their thing is that um, what you have is sold right now at this point in time it just based on like looking at people's personal <laughs> personal inventories hello raise your hand my name is Stacy um and stylist Yumi who links we are so oversaturated you guys like so oversaturated that um you know you're damn near having to give them away like if you think you're selling sets for retail you better hope it's an old set that somebody can't just click on $5 Friday and get 14 sets of it for $5 and free shipping. You know what I mean? Like, and even like, for example, in the Sassy Swap and Sale, uh, Carol had amazing sets, like old, old sets for retail. And they just weren't moving that much. And I was shocked. But honestly, it really is that it's just come to that point where we're just really oversaturated. I feel like people are pickier. Um, 
than we used to be, you know? And now that they've finally said, yes, they've shut down the line that had the problem. So going forward, you know, new sets that get made, hopefully you're not going to get anything with holes in it. But we've, we know we've got sets running back to, you know, 2020 still getting shipped out and do have holes in them. So I don't know. I hope they do some kind of big, like cleaning out our closets, basically. Right. Because if you do, what were the mystery bags? Five sets for 20. Girl, get that shit out of there. Like you shouldn't still be sitting on stuff that could potentially already be dried up and have a hole as far as I'm concerned anyway like get it out of there if you aren't going to discard of everything that came off of that line or have somebody open packages and check every single set then get them going get them out there for five for twenty and let people you know at 5 for 20, I'm a lot more willing to say, eh, you know, whatever, I had a dried up set. But at retail, girl, you know my thoughts. Okay, that's me grass. Now, we're going to move into some sky. And again... I'm not too worried if these don't fully make both nails, cover both nails, because I can, I can doctor with jelly, right? So, um, oh, somebody asked, well, actually, I think a few people asked in my last video if I was feeling vindicated by the fact that they finally said, yes, they found, um, the line that was making all these bad sets. And let me tell you, <laughs> actually, I, I did tell Sandra this, or Sandra this, is that it's hard to feel vindicated when still every time I think about it, I want to throw up. So there is that, but I mean, I'm glad they told the stylist, right? Like I'm glad they told the stylist. Now was this, maybe one of the stylists can say, was this something that was put out in a big email? Did they put out a big email that said, Hey, we finally found the line that um, is sending out bad sets and shut it down? Or was this just something that got said to those in the know? You know what I mean? Because that's two different, two very different situations, in my opinion. <sighs> and no, they didn't let me know that they finally found it and that I wasn't crazy. And still, I like to smack some bitches. But, I mean, no, nobody's going to send me an apology for being a giant jackass. That just is, you know, just is what it is. But, I am glad that they found it. I am glad they found it. Because I hate that it still happens. You know, at this point, I've had it happen to me so many times. I don't know how they could pretend it's not happening. You know, I've sent them. I have picked out sets out of my order and said, I can smell it. This is where the hole's going to be. And this is what it's going to look like. You know, and made videos of me doing that. And then sent them the sent them unopened sets telling them this is where the hole's going to be. <laughs> I can smell it. 
and I've not ever heard anything back from them, you guys. So, I don't know. I get it. They want to be shifty. I'm not a stylist. So, what are they going to tell me anything? And even if it was a stylist, probably aren't going to tell me anything. And it doesn't help that there's, um, you know, plenty of stylists also getting these bad sets. And A, not turning them in. Or B, not even telling their team that this is a thing. Like, there was so, there's just so much shit <laughs> seriously shit um that was connected to it that it just it gave me a really really bad taste here's what I can say I'm thankful that Shannon stuck with me and even though it was hard for her because she's not a you know controversial speak up speak up type of girl she kept speaking up about it so I am thankful for that because otherwise, you know, and she did spread the word through, not only through her team, but like through her upline, through the higher ups in her team. Um, even though, and I had to laugh, um, you wouldn't believe how many of the higher situation say they've never in their whole time had a dried set. Now, if you not ever, then you're not using your product as much as I personally am. So the product you're trying to sell, you're not using it even as much as me. Literally, I remember when Mars and I started using Color Street. Now, mind you, this is just, just a hair shy of five years. Um, we had dry sets then, you guys. So, this isn't new. It's not new to open a set that's dry. The problem being is that you probably already, now, if you've opened it and it's a bit dry, you're not thinking to go back and look at the plastic, right? So, now if I was a stylist and had my sets in cardboard, I would have opened every, I would have popped every single one of them. I don't even have a set by me that I could show you. But I would have just popped the edge of that window to check and see. Because it's all on the big finger. It's all on the thumb side. So I would have checked every one of them and raised hell. But that's me, you guys. That is me. As you know. <laughs> it's not everybody. <laughs> but for me, like, even just... Um, Again, you guys, I'm not a stylist. If you're new here, I'm not a stylist. But as someone who uses Color Street endlessly and uses it as gifts to you guys, seriously, the guilt for me of thinking that I was sending out dry sets made me want to vomit. Just made me want to puke all over the freaking place, including Foz shoes. And the fact that... Um... You know, there was so many stylists that were just wanting to head in the sand and I was the asshole. Seriously. Trust me, I... I would say, unless you're someone in the top, 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 one of those rare ones making six figures, which is literally like a fraction of percent of you, I would guess I think about your business and your product more than you do. And I'm not saying that to be a dick. I'm just saying that as a, you know, if I'm going to say to you guys, like, I love this, I hate this, um, this goes on like butter, or this goes on like crap, I I have everything behind it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not doing it because I'm trying to sell it to you or not trying to sell it to you. I'm doing it because I know at this point you guys have come to know me well enough to know that I'm not going to try to influence you into getting something that's crap. You know when the whole nail polish remover stuff came out. Like, I was the last one on this freaking planet who wanted to like it. Because the cost alone, I just wanted it. 
punch him, you know. But I gave it a try because I have to. It's what I do, you guys. It's what I do. I make sure I give things a try. So I can tell you from my average person's perspective, is this worth it or is this not worth it? And it's freaking worth it. And I hated it. You know I hated it. <laughs> it made me so mad. I didn't want to like it. I didn't want to pay that freaking ridiculous shipping. I didn't want to like it. And I liked it. And I told you I liked it. And I tell you all the time I like it. <laughs> like, my hands have never looked better, friends. <laughs> oh, anyway, there we are. There's my thoughts on Package Gate. I gotta get a couple more in here. Not too many. Jelly, jelly, jelly. I love jellies. Mm -mm -mm. One more right there. Then we should be good. I don't know how long we are into this, you guys. I really need a sip of coffee. There. Okay. Woo doggies. <coughs> <clears throat> that's a you guys how far you yeah, were already 56 minutes in do you ever just spend an hour straight talking with no one ever like talking back to you it's a long time no wonder I always end up with a tickle cough going my lord And then I never stop to think and take a sip of my coffee or water until I'm at the point where I'm choking on my own spit or tongue or something. Okay. Now, I have a few little bits of blue saved over here. I don't know if you guys can see them. And that's for in case I need them at the tip, right? So this is... What a mess. It's all stuck to my fingers. Don't stick to my fingers. Um, that is grass, you know, into sky. Okay. If you didn't know, I'm going to tell you because I don't want anybody asking me. Because I had to think long and hard on this, alright? <laughs> now, we're going to cut this off down here. Because I need it to be nice and rounded. <gasps> Isn't it beautiful? Just like that, it's beautiful. Now, keep in mind that's on white. It's going to look totally different when we put it on my finger. You know what this is making me think of? Those of you that have watched little kids shows, you might think of, you might remember. Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. That's what these nails are making me think of right now. Oh, it was haunting me in my head. I couldn't think of it. All right, now, this is a little world's cutest bunny. Isn't he cute? Okay. And now, put this in here. And I don't want all of it, you guys. Um, I only want part of him. What is my best way to do this? I don't want to bugger it up. It's like, you get one chance. You got one chance, friends. Ooh. Oh, God. I did it. Ooh, did you guys have to hold your breath, too? Look at him. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to put that on one of Josie's fingers. <laughs> Just a little teeny rabbit ears peeking out. <laughs> Alright, now we need to do this side. Okay, there we go. Oh, my hand slipped. I didn't get it. 
Ooh, ooh. There's no easy way to do it when you have to look at the underside, right? Like you're looking to see where it's punching. You're not just like randomly gung-ho punching like crazy lady. Beauty. Okay, what did I do? I hit it on my stupid this thing. Dang it. Let me hang on. I'm just going to put a little ugh, gelish over that because it'll smooth it. That's the thing I'm finding with, um, you know, those nudie nude bases. It's like they don't set up right or something. They're almost like they're chalky. That's why I quit using the Color Street one because it felt too powdery and chalky. But now I'm feeling that there. Oh my god, this is so cute. Oh lord, I might have to put him out here somewhere. Because he's just so cute, you guys. Shush. Okay. Now, what should I do? Should I cut this in half? I feel like that's what I did last time. Let me see where it goes to. Good luck, sirs. Okay, you guys, close your eyes in case this doesn't work. You don't want to witness me melting down. Or do you? Is that why you're here? See some internet drama? Me having a meltdown? Pan said, that's why I'm here, Mom. I love it when you melt down. Hang on, there's a little bit of white backing there. I'll say, Stacy, you impress me. Look at that, you guys. But just wait. It's going to get so much better. But I just need to take a sec to admire this. And these will get heat, you guys, because this is a lot, right? Like, that's a lot. Okay. I didn't do a very good job cutting in half. So hopefully this will fit this. If not, we'll easily doctor it. No problem. Because huh? I play a doctor on the internet. Beauty, look how close that was, you guys. And I can easily fix that. Let's go. Let's go, girls. Okay, now I'm just going to take this little bit, the blue I had left, gorgeous one, there we go, doctored, okay, let's do clean up now normally I would just fold over you guys and then file later but when it comes to these like is very specific in the cleanup process and it's definitely nips I don't want to tear it I mean it's not that thick but I still don't want to risk it work too hard on them to risk it Oh my god, shut up. You guys, shut up. Can't handle it. They're so good. Oh, they're so good. Okay, hang on, this stuck to my skin. All right, the rest of the cleanup, I'll do later. Okay, now we're going to make rabbits to stick in there. So, if I remember right, this is pretty sheer. 
yeah okay so this one I'm going to cut in half I have taken the plastic off remember always remember to take your plastic off and I'm gonna double layer this to get it a little more brownie and then uh, bunny rabbits now this one I don't gotta worry as much about you know cuz I'm not putting this whole brown strip I'm only in it for the rabbit on this one and then we take this off this is where the magic happens and fit him right in <laughs> stop it you guys I literally I literally can and I know we've done you know like this before right we did the holly berry ones at Christmas where my obsession with the stained glass started and it's not ever gonna end I literally have a color street folder called stained glass where I've saved actual like stained glass windows that I think I'm going to recreate at some point. This whole channel's name just changed to Stacy's Sassy Stained Glass and other shit. Sorry, just changed. Right here, well you were here to see it. Well, for those of you who have made it this far, you're the real VIP. If you made it this far, comment down below. Real VIP. Do it. Just do it. No. I gotta change. I gotta do this from. Come on, bugger. I gotta do it from the bottom. It's hard because, guess what? I'm not left-handed. Oh, look at that. It went right in like it was supposed to. Popped right into its little spots. Oh my god, why is it so cute? Okay, now, because that is not enough for me, right? I mean, that's flipping adorable. You'd be hard-pressed to find any better Easter Manny in the entire world of worlds. Okay, let me see how sure this is. But if I remember right, it's milky. Yeah, it's milky. Okay, let me double layer it, though. You guys, we haven't got to the god dang thumb yet. The thumb will go faster though, I promise. No, you know what? I'm not going to apologize. I warned you last week this was going to be long. And if you at any point want to get fancy as frogs, you got to know it takes time. You don't just stumble upon fancy frogs in the wilderness for free. You got to invest. Let me think how I want to do this. First, I think I want to yeah, curve the edge. All right, let's see. I don't even know what size I need to be cutting these bigger than that. Maybe that's the better way to go. Cut a little bit fit it and then break it off <laughs> yes hang on I gotta use my real hands for this bit oh my god you guys this okay I remember when I did holly berries I was gonna retire after it because I 
Didn't think I could get any better. Wide. This is better. Yeah, let me get that squashed down. Oh my lord. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my god. I cannot, you guys. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. And the award for world's best Easter manning goes to myself. I just awarded myself the world's best. Don't even care. Don't even care. Nobody's got to agree. Those, you guys, shut your face. All right, now let's do some thumbs quick. And the thumbs should be fairly quick. Okay, I had two thoughts for the thumbs. Um, I wanted to make them lined, but I couldn't decide if I wanted to make them lined like zigzag lines or wavy lines. Now, I went with wavy because I think it will be a little easier to get them evened up. Oh, get off me. I've got so much garbage. I don't know how much you guys can see over here, but there's a lot. <laughs> All right. Now, zippity zappity zoop. First, I'll do a real small one like that to get it started, okay? And then... And I'm not aiming to make these tiny by any means. Whoops. I'm aiming to make them look like a dang Easter egg. That's all. And they can be like, some of them can be thicker. Some of them can be thinner. I don't care. Just look like an Easter egg, would you? And they're going to have to go all the way across to get trimmed down again. Again, just got to make a little few starter dents in it. Whoops, that one went flying. And then snippity, snippity, snip. Uh-oh, I hear trouble. And this one, I'm going to use pink at the base because it Honestly, doesn't matter, guys. Per use. So, what's going to matter, though, is trying to... Hang on, I got a little piece of white stuck there. Trying to line up the waves. And I don't care if they kind of overlap. What's pink and purple going to make? Fuchsia? I don't know. We'll find out together, friends. I don't care if they overlap a little bit. Like, I'm not aiming to make the world's most perfect stripey egg. I'm aiming to make me and the kids colored eggs, you know? And here's what we ended up with. Awesomeness. One day, when fall 
Doc comes around. Realizes what he's missing. He'll have me do live nails on their page. You guys. So I can teach everybody. I mean, technically, I can teach everybody right now if they come watch. But... First, I gotta find them. <laughs> first, I gotta hunt them down. Aw, this is gonna be very cute. Yes girl. Hi, Pancake. You guys, he's so smart. He's learning that he sits on the blank spot on the puzzle table so that he can watch me. Now, does that mean he doesn't ever reach his little paw? No. But, it does mean that there's a lot less of him stealing puzzle pieces. Because he's such a smart kid. It's like. You see those bumper stickers that say like. My guinea pig's smarter than your honor student. I'm going to get one that says. My pancake is smarter than your honor student. <laughs> Just know. Josie's also that kind of honor student situation. So I tease Josie all the time that my favorite kid is Beef. You guys, you know he is. I just love him. And I'm trying to remember. Josie, do you have your ears off? Headphones on. Something Josie did yesterday that I said, are you trying to be my favorite kid? Are you trying to beat Beef out of favorite kid zone? We left. Oh, that one broke. Let me fix it. Okay, let's see where we're at. Pink, pink, you stink. Nope. Oh, you guys, I'm very excited for these. Now, can I kind of get... Yep. So... The other night we had a chance at getting about an inch of snow and we wound up with 8.5 inches you guys now over the next three days we're having a snow event because if you're going to get snow in march slash almost dang near april you might as well make it an event oh my lord and this this snow event is bringing 18 to 24 inches <laughs> What are you talking about? So, we'll see what that does. But it's okay, I'm here for it. I'm settled in. Um, we went and picked up Josie's new glasses today. They came in. Super cute. And, um, picked up supplies. You know, like, listen. You know when you see those memes where they're like, everybody's got a snowstorm coming, so they go get bread and milk? No, you know, we got some ice cream and no, not purple. We need pink, you guys. Like, yeah, you want to make sure you have bread and milk. I don't know why, but I want to make sure we had some ice cream. Make sure the cats and bunnies had all the stuff they would need for a couple few days, you know. That's the real important stuff.
told Josie if they are off. So they said we were going to get a one inch of snow and we got eight and a half. So if the 18 to 24 is off <clears throat> as much as that one inch was off, we're never digging out. <laughs> we're just going to be done. <laughs> okay, let me see. No, it needs a little more, but I think it can use this guy. I do also really think this would be super cute in um, a zigzag pattern. But I had like a big zigzag and a small one. And like I felt like the small was too small and the big was too big. So I need a medium level zigzag before I conquer that. Whoop, whoop, get back here. So, instead we get waves, which is fine. I think they'll be good too. Alright, let's see how it looks on. And I did choose the widest thumb because that one I do not have to trim it flat if I pay close attention. Well, shoot, but I do have to cut this. I do have to cut this end. Because I met that end to put it on. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh. Adorable. Okay, stop it. Yeah, I'm glad I made myself do that. You know, after that whole Easter Bunny... I was like, oh my gosh, should I go this extra mile? Yes, you guys, you should. Listen, unless you have something pressing else you should be doing, which I don't know what it is. But if you have something pressing to be doing, then don't go the extra mile. I get it. But if you don't, then hell yes, take, take the steps and do it because it is worth it. I mean, would this have been cute with Lux on it? For sure. Would have been just dang adorable. But how much better is it like this? So much. Okay. Now, I have... Let me see here. Empty. There's a purple. Oops, I better take it from this end where the foil was at. Jerk. Here we go. And I'm just using this. fix in that spot. So, okay. Tips and tricks. I would say I personally love the mix of sizes. But I know that's not going to be okay with everybody's brain. Some people are going to want, like, you know what I mean? Some of you are going to need very even. <laughs> but that's not, for me, I like it. That it's, um, you know, some are thick and some are thin. So, but I would say decide that beforehand, you know, because it'll help you. When you're cutting your strips. You could you could also go for as many colors here as you want, you guys.
Okay, now pull that baby up. Now, if you want to keep this bold color that it shows on there, then you would want to do a white base under here. But honestly, to me, like, having this stained glass look is so cool looking. Is worth it. It's worth it, you guys. It's worth it. Okay. Now, I am going to snip this. Because I don't have any nails left to be tearing things around with. Oh my gourd. Oh gosh, they're so good. Oh, lordy. You guys, come on. Thanks for those of you that have made it through this. Was I told you it was going to be long. And it was long. Hour and a half later. We're fancy as frogs. Get these little bits cleaned up. All right, now I'll do heat on these, and then after that, I'll do um, some northern lights, and then my jellish. Don't be jellish. I got a lot of, but I don't want to clean up too much until I get heat on them and give everything a good meltdown. There you go, friends. Happy Easter. <laughs>